suitcases. What's up? So, I had this really cool vlog where I took you guys along with me to the doctor. Lucy said hi. I'm just one saying hi to her. I, I had this really cool vlog. Oh, let me show you what the baby's doing too. What are you doing? She's trying. Hey, that's my watch. She's always upside down. I don't even know. She's upside down all the time nowadays. But anyways, guys, please don't yell, okay? I had this really cool vlog. I took you along with me to my first doctor's appointment here in New Zealand. I was explaining the process, and I can't find any of the footage. So I didn't post today like I was supposed to. Can I go? I can't change it. Yeah, go ahead. Because that was the footage. Danny, Danny, please don't yell, okay? Because that was the footage I was going to share with you guys. Itchy yes. ass. Danny, stop yelling, please. And that was, because that was the footage I was going to share with everybody. I was going to be like, hey, come along with me on my first doctor's appointment ever. Not ever, because, you know, I'm a person and I've been to the doctor before. But in New Zealand. Well, well I had a doctor's appointment, but not in New Zealand. Yeah. And we'll get you, yeah, you don't need a checkup right now. But anyways, I needed, I needed to get some medication refilled, so I went to the doctor. Obviously, there's none of that footage, but I can tell you what to do to get a doctor's appointment here. So in my first video, I told you guys how to get a doctor, but I didn't really explain a lot on how the system works as far as like, and like I said in my first video, I'll link it up here. Um, you, going to the doctor here. Guys, go in the bedroom. Go in the bedroom. Aubrey, go get your jammies on. Huh? You got jammies on? You do have jammies on. Okay, so I'm doing this quickly before bed and somehow they have a second wind. I don't know. But anyways. Bye. What happened was I went to the doctor. Well, duh. And uh, I needed some medicine refilled. And I already showed you guys in my previous video how to get a doctor in your local area in New Zealand. And if you qualify for the local healthcare system. Well, part of getting a doctor in New Zealand is when you qualify for the healthcare system is you have to wait until the first of the following month when you register with the doctor to be able to actually see them for New Zealand to pay for it. Because what happens is they pay the doctor up front for the month and you'll, you'll have like a small copay. I think it's like $25, $35 after if, um, if you, uh, if you qualify and it's like $70 if you don't. So anyways, you go the month following after the first so that they have already been paid for you and so I had to wait I think it was like three weeks to see the doctor because of that but it was okay because you know I wasn't like in desperate need for my medicine but I needed to go be seen so I'm trying to think um yeah so we went to go see the doctor Yes, and I took the two youngest with me, and, and me. yes, and I took you, and um, you want to say hi, Danny? Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. Um, so she's spinning the necklace. Don't spin it at me. And yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. But uh, anyways, ow! Give okay. me the necklace. Don't hit me with the necklace, that hurts. Anyways, so you can't see the doctor until, the, so if you're gonna register for a doctor, don't do what I did and register in the middle of the month. Wait till the end of the month to register because then you can see them within days and not weeks. Little tip. Also in New Zealand, a lot of the prescription medicines, there's usually like a similar over-the-counter one. It's like in the US where there's over-the-counter stuff, but in New Zealand you can get things with codeine in it for pain, which you can't do in the US. And you can't get Sudafed very easily here, but you can get that very easily in the US. It's just interesting on healthcare laws. And but yeah, so 
from what I know, our doctor was fairly efficient getting me in DBC and didn't give me a problem on getting my medicines refilled. All she asked for was like a blood test to check and make sure that they're actually working. Um, stop, please. But that is really what I would tell you. Oh, and I would say when you find a doctor in your local area, they a lot of uh, the clinics I found online, they had... Um, Google reviews, so look and see what the reviews are for that. And I would suggest finding one that's in a fairly, a fairly big clinic, so that way you know you can still get seen even if they're not available to see you. Um, that's really all the tips I have as far as that. I'm gonna have to cut that out. That's really all the tips I have as far as how to get a doctor here in New Zealand. It's not the video I originally planned. I was gonna show you guys the actual process in. Hand, but I don't get to, I'm not gonna go see a doctor for another while because she gave me a three-month supply and said unless It comes back on my blood test that my medicines in fact not working She won't need to see me so That's all I got for now. I got I think probably one more video in the series to do but That's the end for this part Yeah, that's how I'm ending it. I don't even know how to end this. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later Bye.